So I'm pretty excited today because um, after I posted the last video about the uh, DSi printing, I had a lot of people that were pretty encouraging about the fact that I didn't really have to tie myself down to DSi and um, that I really should go ahead and give it a shot and try to um, start printing again. If I, if I really want to be in complete control of what I'm doing, um, there's just no way around it. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you this. Da, 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 the Omega Super Chromega D. This is uh, this is my new enlarger. I just bought this thing yesterday for a mint, like 250 bucks. I'm not sure at this point if it fires up, but um. I'm gonna take a look at the components and see what kind of shape they're in. Uh, I know a little bit about electronics, enough to be dangerous, so I'm just gonna be looking for things like obvious issues, um, frayed wires, broken solder points, oxidation, um, exploded capacitors, that kind of thing. If everything looks good, um, I don't really see any reason why we couldn't fire it up and see what it does. So. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean it a little bit. See how dirty this is? And it's even got little glow in the dark stars on it. So, this is pretty exciting. have this loud like really gnawing squeak sound sorry about that noise um, I'm gonna try to take the little handle the little knob off and uh, grease it up oh perfect first try So smooth, so quiet, absolute joy. So the panels are kind of in rough shape. One thing I did notice too was that there was some tape behind, you can see this tape here in the center, um, covering up this window, which when you pull, when you do the actuator on the side you can do low high and white light um, and this is supposed to be illuminated back here and this is supposed to move up and down as you adjust the lever well it moves down it just doesn't come back up um, but I've already decided that I'm not replacing this bulb I'm not utilizing this so I think I'm just gonna cover these panels up completely. So I think I'm gonna um, spray these with just a few light coats of uh, Plasti Dip. That way, um, if I do decide to get rid of this down the road, I can remove that and you know somebody may not wanna have those covered up. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I gotta say, um, I'm pretty happy with that. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's fire this let's fire this thing up. See see how it goes. Um, we've got power, power, power. Here we go. 
think I've got everything right. Fans going. Okay, so here's the inside. So we've got the fan in the back, which is whirring nicely. Um, we've got the bulb here, the enlarger bulb. Um, there's a, you can't really see, but there's the other bulb, the running bulb, the on light basically. And then these are our um, color filters. Okay, so I'm gonna go to focus. Yes! Could this have gone any smoother? I don't know, man. I think the hardest part was loading it into the Forerunner. <laughs> um, yeah, so to the moon. Let's print. I'll uh, I'll see you guys in Colorado. Yeah.